If God ignites a storm in your life, He has a definite purpose in mind. And let's say that you are a Christian and you're just sort of drifting along and everything is fine. God has a purpose for your life, and so what does He do? He just either sends a storm or allows a storm in your life to get your attention because what gets our attention is heartache, troubles, trials, difficulty, persecution, you name it. He's got our attention. So that's one of the reasons He allows it, to get our attention. A second reason is because He wants to get to some sin in our life, something you've allowed to develop in your life. You know it doesn't belong there. You know it's not pleasing to God. You know it doesn't fit who you are. And so what happens? He sends a storm to get your attention, to get you to listen, to look, and to look at your life and to recognize uh, there's something going on in your life that shouldn't be there. And He wants you to deal with it. And listen to this. The longer you hold on to what He wants to get rid of, the stronger the storm is going to become. And many people, it may begin with a little wind. And for many other people, it ends up to a hurricane for the simple reason they refused to acknowledge that God is up to something in their life. And then, of course, a, a third reason, and that is He wants you to surrender something. He wants you to lay down something. He wants you to take your hand off of something that you're gripping, that you're grasping very tightly. And God wants you to loosen your grip on it. So, listen, because He's got something better for you than that. And so what happens? He sends a storm to get you to think in Him and to recognize, to get your attention, to look at some sin, and to recognize that you're holding on to something He doesn't want you to hold on to. And all of us have been there. So, you know, you can sit here and think, well, that doesn't really apply to me. Yes, it does. We've all been there. There's another reason, and that is He wants us to conform us to His image. He says, stop being conformed to the likeness of the world, and be ye transformed by the renewing of your heart, that you may prove what is the good and perfect will of God. That is, God's ultimate goal is to shape us into the likeness of His Son. So what does He do? He gets our attention. He deals with sin. He brings us to surrender. He wants to conform us to His likeness. Because you see, another reason is He has a purpose. That is, He wants to equip us to serve Him. So you ask yourself the question, what storm are you going through in life? What is it that's giving you a real difficult time right now? What is it that you'd like to change if you could? What is it that is bringing you pain, heartache, and suffering, and disappointment, and oftentimes maybe anger? Maybe you're angry at God about something He's allowed in your life. Then ask yourself the question, God, if, if, if these are the purposes, uh, are, you, are you trying to get my attention? God, you've got it. Is there sin in my life? Show me exactly what it is. Usually we don't have to ask Him to show us. We usually we know what that is. What is it you want me to surrender? Shaped in, into your, what do you need to change in my life? God, are you trying to equip me to serve you? And you see, one of the reasons that some people aren't serving God is because they're not equipped, because they've never reached that stage of surrendering themselves to Him so He can prepare them to serve Him. Somebody says, I could never serve God. You can as long as you have that attitude. And secondly, as long as you're unwilling to, to say, God, whatever you want in my life, open hands, I'm available, I'm willing for you to do whatever you want to do, Lord, here's my life. Then you may be absolutely, totally surprised at what God will do in your life. 